In just two weeks, a group of high school chefs will head to Dallas, Texas to represent Kentucky in the National Culinary Competition. Krista Spadaccini has a behind-the-scenes look at the group's recipe for success. Okay, we have strawberries. Uh, looks like basil, I think. No, spinach, okay. Four cups of creativity, two scoops of leadership, and a splash of skill. The secret ingredient? Friendship. Mix it all together and you have the Montgomery County 4-H culinary team. We'll do different things that we always want to be the best at and we always want to be the best at whatever we do. With this team, there are never too many chefs in the kitchen. Tanner Campbell, Brianna McKinney, Paul Bryant, and Luke Baker qualified for the National Culinary Competition in Dallas next month. The contest is similar to the show Chopped. The young chefs are given a basket with three to five mystery ingredients. They have 40 minutes to think of a recipe, cook the dish, and write a speech about the meal's nutritional value and cost. Hey, give us a minute. So obviously we're all nervous, but I think that we can win this competition because we, uh, we really want it. Since chefs are only allowed to compete at 4-H nationals once, they have one chance to smoke their competition. Making sure it all pans out is coach Lietta Greer and mentor Lance Monday. I went there and I was like, I was like, it's gonna be like strict, like we're not gonna have that much fun. I remember I had the greatest time of my life. So we have this quinoa, that's gonna throw us for a rope. But the knife between the chefs and the competition's kitchen is money. The trip isn't cheap, so they're asking for donations to offset the cost. Taste man, what do you think? I know when it comes down to it that they are going to be on point and they know exactly what to do. Thank you. We have been the Montgomery County 4-H Culinary Challenge team. Do the judges have any questions? In Mount Sterling, Krista Spadaccini, Fox 56 News. All right, well, good luck to them. If you'd like to help, we have more information on how to donate in this story on fox56news.com.